woman is dying. She's locked in a tiny chamber. The oxygen inside. It only lasts for 40 minutes or so. Pan system. Niveau d'oxygène à 35%. Just a few minutes ago, the woman suddenly woke up to find herself wrapped up, unable to move. She tried desperately to open an opening, breathing heavily, but her whole body was bound by a cocoon. She couldn't break free. It was dark all around her. She cried out for help, but there was no response from outside. Then the lights came on. On the screens around her are some body monitoring data, and an artificial intelligence appeared in front of her, constantly indicating the only oxygen left in the chamber. The oxygen level was 33%. The woman's mind seemed to go blank. She asked the AI. But the AI just tells her, your number is 267, no other information can be found, who am I, where am I now? The woman tries to remember, but in her mind, only fragments of hospital memories came to mind. She guessed that she must be sick. She was now in a hospital. She called out for help again, but still no one answered. Only the artificial intelligence keeps telling her. To reduce oxygen consumption, she had to force herself to calm down. She asked the AI to open the hatch, only to be told that she needed the administrator's password. The AI told her, the dormant module's fault report has been sent out. Now she has to wait quietly for help. The woman had an idea. Since the report can be sent, then can we talk to the outside world? This time, artificial intelligence finally gave a positive answer. The woman first dialed the police officer's phone number. She told him her situation. The police asked for her name and address, but the woman did not know anything. The police tried to locate the woman by signal, but repeated attempts were unsuccessful. The woman guessed, cryogenic chamber must be buried in the ground. She gradually fell into anxiety. The police advised her to stay calm, to see if they could find information about the cryogenic chamber as a clue. The woman looked left and right and found above her head. There was the manufacturer and serial number of the cryogenic chamber. She immediately read it to the police. The policeman reassured her while promising to get her out. But in the middle of the process, the phone was suddenly disconnected. The woman forced herself to calm down. She changed her mind. She asked the artificial intelligence to match her genes. Sure enough, she found herself. It turns out her name is Ella, and she was a doctor. And that's when the woman got a call back from the police. The police asked about the manufacturer, but they were told this cryogenic chamber was abandoned three years ago. In other words, the woman was trapped inside, wasn't sick, but was maliciously imprisoned. The woman was half convinced. Let the artificial intelligence to conduct a comprehensive medical examination of her, and the test results did show the woman was in perfect health. This confirms the police's suspicions. At that moment, the phone signal was cut off again, the woman almost collapsed. Due to rapid oxygen consumption, the cryogenic chamber's automatic program was activated, trying to forcibly sedate her. But the woman knew that she would have to sleep, herself at least two hours of sleep, and the current amount of oxygen, only enough for 40 minutes or so. If she falls asleep, I will never wake up again.